Okay, I thought I'd do a quick review of the Gan Megamix Maglev. So in terms of price, it's £36.29 for the Frosted on Pi coupons to use like the, the code Sean M. And then it's £46.66 for the UV. And it's worth keeping in mind the UV is about the same price as a Core Magnetic Yuhu, if you're just like trying to get a reference of, how, of like the price of it. So it's definitely like probably the most expensive Mega like that's stock. So I'd say, but it's, so the accessories are pretty great. You get like this cool box. Like I haven't had any issues with it. Like it doesn't like open when I don't want it to. Um, yeah, and like the adjustment tool it comes with is like very usable. I mean, I do, I do really like the Moyu adjustment tool though. I prefer that. It's like the more like larger tool that is easier to adjust stuff. Going on to feel, I think it's like a combination of like the Tornado V3 and the Ganskew, if that makes sense. So it's like very flush and smooth, like sort of a typical Gan cube feel, but it's like very stable and a bit on the blocky side. I find it a good thing, it kind of depends who you are. I'd say it's similar to the U in a lot of ways, but it's just like I'm a bit more premium all around. I've heard people, some people say it doesn't really flow well for F, like S12 or like F12, and like they've only been able to like do well on, on, on it on like last layer. That, that part kind of depends on your like turning style, I guess. I've definitely adapted mine a bit to the cube and I've got used to it. I'd say the core magnets do like definitely do their job well. Like, I mean, I've got it on like a bit more of a tight setting so it doesn't like auto align as much, but it does do like a lot for like stability and like just making like making my turning better. I'd say the corner cutting is like enough. I've got mine fairly tight and it kind of cuts like everywhere. The speed's pretty good. Like it's able to like accomplish a good range of stuff. Like again, I've got mine more, more on the controllable side, but it's still quite fast and if I wanted to, I could put some gravitas in and make it slower. I guess there's like sort of two main cons with this. I'd say setup wise, I wasn't able to get the most out of it, like normal silicone loops, like sort of the pilot red, pilot blue, or like a Tiron. Like it only worked for me after like using it with like setting up with Angstrom loops. But I think this is just like sort of a, might be a preference thing. Like I've only really done well on gang cubes, like with Angstrom loops. So maybe like you're able to make it work, but for me at least, I'd say. Like, try and, like, put ancient loops in it if you can. And, like, the second con I'd have is probably, like, the range of settings. I mean, I've got mine on the elastic Elasticity setting 3 and Distance 4. And I think most people just use it on, like, the out-of-the-box settings, which are Elasticity 2 and Distance 5. I haven't seen, like, many people stray from this sort of range. But, yeah, I kind of know it's not perfect for, like, getting... Like, no, I haven't seen that like, cube get, like, a perfect range. I mean, even, like, the Tornado, like, which I think is one of the better cubes for it. Like, most people use it on three or four. Like, I can't think of a cube where, like, every single setting is usable, apart from, like, the Moyu setting. The, like, OG Moyu adjustment system on the way along GTS, like, three or something. I guess price-wise, I mean, it, I don't really need to state the obvious. It's, like, you could buy five Yuhus or, like, two Dians for the price of this. I mean, I'd say it's worth it. It just took me a while to get used to it. Like literally, I had it for a week before Stevenage April. I decided not to use it, and then I kind of went back. I was I went back with you for, for like a week or two. Then I kind of decided I'll use it. So it's just me have to stick with to get used to it. But like at the same time, there's a lot of like good solvers who global sub thirty, like LML who prefer the Yuhu, or like Aiden who prefer the Diane. So it's like not at the same time. I don't think it's gonna be like the be all and end all of like mega hardware. I'd say it's like a good option for like being the best mega, and I'd say out of the like big three of like the Yuhu, Diane, and Gan, it probably like, requires like the least work for it to be a viable main. But I'd say like I mean all three of them have like the same performance ceiling. I just think the Gan's easiest to get there and maintain it basically in terms of like setup and stuff, and like consistency. I'd say the main thing is to just try and go to a comp and try it. Like it's very a very specific feel. I can see like some people not liking it, so just go to a comp and just see. I mean, for what it's worth, it's my main, um, and I don't think I'll be changing for it, from it for the foreseeable future.